I'm Bambi Francisco for Vader TV. As rich media explodes across the web, many companies have emerged to help us organize and help find the most relevant videos and rich media content out there. Joining me to talk about the video and image search wars is Chase Norland. He's the CEO and co-founder of Pixie. Chase, thanks for joining us. And a war it is, Bambi. Nice to see you again. Thanks. Great to see you. It is a, a, it's a war. You started in 2005, and I've been following this industry for a long time. Uh, Truvio's out there, Blinks, Plugged, everything. Singing Fish, we talked about earlier, one being the first dabbles come out, you know, Click yeah. Blast, and um, on and on and on. How is... How is this shaking out? How are companies now starting to differentiate themselves, and how are you trying to differentiate yourself from the pack? Yeah. Well, that's one of the best things about a war, is that the longer you do it, the better you get at it, and the more defensibility you have against small companies, and we've definitely proven that. Um, so you know, we are very clearly focused on providing image and video search to other sites. That's it. It's a very simple premise. Image search, fastest growing consumer search vertical on the internet today. It's 10% of Google's traffic. It grows 100% every year. Video search, rapidly approaching that, but not growing as fast as image search. And we said, if image and video search are so wildly popular, you know, why doesn't every website have it? And that's literally the vision of our business and why we've been able to grow. The, the value proposition that we're bringing to publishers is saying, hey, website, you should be in the fastest growing consumer search business. It's going to create new search traffic on your site. It's going to add new content to your site. You're, in essence, becoming a mini Google. That's what this is about. If the Google business model is so successful, you know, why isn't everybody a Google? And that's really the philosophy of our company. And then the last part of it, and maybe most important, is that by adding image and video search to a site, uh, it's creating a new ad monetization opportunity that never existed before. Sure. You said you had 100 customers, or maybe you mentioned that to me earlier. How many, how many companies do you uh, provide video and image search uh, right. services for? Yeah, so we don't disclose the exact number, obviously, but you know, I would say in the hundreds right now. Uh, and so I'm starting to get some nice, you know, fairly well-known names here from Fox and the Travelocities of the world. Mm -hmm. starting to realize that we've got a pretty significant platform. Uh, for getting them in a business that's growing wildly. And, and really the simple premise behind all of this is image and video search. That's the thing driving mm -hmm. all this. So there is a very simple core value proposition that's keeping all these wheels turning, and that's consumers sure. searching for this stuff. Well, how do you get the big publishers or the big companies who have alliances with, say, the MSNs and the Googles, the, yeah. big, the big companies, how do you win those deals? Yeah, good question. Well, it's really no different than if you were building out an ad network, which is where I came from. So I came from ValueClick. And that's really one of the reasons why you know, Pixie is really kind of a digital media version of ValueClick. That's what this is about. Uh, and so it's no different than building out an ad network, which is you start with small publishers, which we did, mm -hmm. people you've never heard of, powering videos and image search for. And now we're starting to crack the top tier. And really it's just about just getting better at what you're doing, showing the value proposition, and just staying at it. So that's why we're now starting to hit the top tier publishers. Well, how do you measure your success? What metrics do you look at to show that you're, you're growing? Yeah. So, and you, I, was, I thought I'd ask you answer your first question, which is what you first started with, which is like where we kind of see ourselves in the market. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're, we're all about providing image and video search to other sites. Most people in the video search space today really are focused on being a destination. Yes. I think you saw kind of a recent announcement by Truvio and AOL kind of speaking to that. So we said, you know what, let these guys kind of hammer it out and try to become a, you know, try to win the destination wars. We're sure. all about powering this for other people. And then the people, other people who are now providing kind of a video platform or a video search platform for other companies. Some of the smaller guys you're talking about, mm -hmm. really most of the focus there that we're seeing is around, uh, is around taking the video down and, and understanding the video and trying to become kind of the AdSense for video. Mm -hmm. Tons of guys doing that. Mm -hmm. And you've, you've interviewed probably a lot of the Adapt TVs and, and the Scan Scouts of the world. They're all trying to, Nick Cydia might be another one of them, mm -hmm. all trying to figure that out. That's great. They're all smart guys, you know, great companies, well-funded, et cetera. And that certainly is a big opportunity. That is not us. We are all about image and video search, and we're all about thumbnails. That's really important. Mm -hmm. We don't want to get in the video business. We don't want to get in the, the copyright business. Mm -hmm. One of the nice things is that thumbnails are fair use. Mm -hmm. So one of our competitive advantages is we can build this huge digital media index, mm -hmm. and we don't need to do any licensing deals. Right. right. You just go out there. Well, how many, in, um, how many videos and images have you? Well, actually, let's just talk about the, the, uh, the videos. I think a you mentioned Trivio, and Tim Tuttle told me that AOL had about 20 million 
videos indexed and probably 40 million by the time this airs. Yeah. Uh, so how many videos have you indexed? Right. So um, we don't do the exact numbers, just but given what the assumption you just gave, which and we've heard some similar numbers uh, about trivia. Again, like those guys a lot, we have a healthy respect for them. Uh, the Pixie video index is almost three quarters the size of that, mm -hmm. approaching that. So mm -hmm. it's pretty healthy if you think about. Uh, AOL having been in the video search business for a long time, mm -hmm. not just through Truvio acquisition, but through Singing Fish. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Pixie's only been in the video search business for 15 months, 14 months since first money in. Now, we were working on it before that, mm -hmm. you know, uh, while we had day jobs. But right. So, we've been able to ba basically create some good efficiencies at aggregating content. Now, um You've been around for a long time. You were, you were value clicks. You've watched sort of Web 1.0 and right. how there are many search engine companies that search just for text, and then you know, kind of a um, a change in landscape. Some went away. Some um, got big, like Google. So, what do you right. see in the next year with still so many competitors out there in video search? What, yeah. what happens? Well, see, things. I'm not sure there are a lot of competitors in video search necessarily, right? Okay. Um, there are a lot of companies in the video space, and the video space is is kind of wildly um, overhyped, if you will. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of there's a lot of noise in the space, but there's not a lot of true kind of video search providers. Mm -hmm. So there's people looking inside the video. And you've got kind mm -hmm. of like I mentioned the whole AdSense for video concept. Mm -hmm. You've got video syndicators and video mm -hmm. destination companies. Lots of great ones there, from Roo to Brightcove, right, mm -hmm. uh, to our friends at Vio mm -hmm. uh, and a variety of other companies. That's true. And there's really not a lot of true kind of video search providers. Yeah. Certainly, Blinks and AOL. Healthy respect for them as competitors. Uh, there's a couple other smaller ones, but really, the, those are the kind of the three players in the video search market. When when a, when a company is considering using video search, sure. what we're hearing is Blinks, AOL, right. uh, and Pixie. Okay. What did Blinks do right? They went public. So, I, I give them credit in that they really kind of helped define the market in the sense that they were the first guys out there a long time ago mm -hmm. doing. I mean, when we first started the company over two years ago, they were already fairly well along. So I give them credit, I give Sarang and those guys credit for coming up with a really interesting idea and technology way before anyone else had really thought about it. Okay, so you've had a seed round of funding, you've been around for two, since 2005, are you uh, in the market for Series A yeah, anytime so soon? Yeah, so we've been able to prove out a lot of our business and, and achieve some of the metrics that other companies haven't achieved and have raised a lot more money than us. So we've been able to do a lot on very little. Uh, so as a result of that, we're now evaluating and talking to a lot of people. How do we work with, uh, who do we choose as the best kind of business slash financial partner to help us continue growing it forward? Because there is, again, this is really tip of the iceberg stuff. Even though there's a lot of noise in this space, mm -hmm. the consumer demand and consumer growth around video and image search really is still in its infancy. Okay. Well, good luck to you, Chase. Thanks. Good to see you again. I've been speaking with Chase Norland. He's the CEO and co-founder of Pixie. I'm Bambi Francisco.